Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Parents are crediting Grayson County High School faculty and staff for saving their son's life after he went into cardiac arrest. 10 News reporter Duke Carter shows us how their training and an unusual change of plans made all the difference. Hayden Walters is a senior at Grayson County High School. It feels pretty good. I'm excited for the whole excitement of the senior year, you know. Hayden has been running cross country since the seventh grade and considers himself healthy. Farthest I've ran on my own for cross country was like seven miles, but most of the time at practice we only ever do like four or five. But this past Tuesday, the unthinkable happened. Hayden was in the school gym getting ready for cross country practice when he passed out. Just gotten out of the locker room, changing, getting ready, you know, everything was just completely normal. And then after that, it's just dark. He wasn't responsive, but he was still, he was still going. They got everything back. Hayden went into cardiac arrest. He was airlifted to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to Baptist Hospital, a call Hayden's dad, Jeremy, never expected. I was just delirious and just in a fuzz and didn't know what to do. Doctors were able to save Hayden with the two surgeries to freeze a pathway in his heart. And he, they done a phenomenal job. But here's where the story gets really interesting. We all know the saying, things happen for a reason. Normally, Hayden would warm up for cause country by himself, running a lap around the school. It was the one time Hayden's coach told him to wait for the other teammates before warming up. Says God thing. I just said, no, let's warm up as a team today. The Grayson County High School staff leapt into action. I came through the doors. I found Hayden laying right in this area. Cross country coach Lucas Austin performed CPR. As soon as I touched him, he was just ice cold and his, his shade was purple, so we pretty much knew that it was probably a cardiac event. Staff members called for help, which included the school nurse, who also just so happened to be around. She grabbed a defibrillator. I feel blessed that I was here and that I was able to help him. It was the end of school. While Hayden is waiting to get back in the classroom, he's grateful all the school staff saved his life. Every single person that came in there knew exactly what to do and when to do it, so they were all absolutely amazing. In the town of Independence, Duke Carter, 10 News, working for you.